Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, another use of the measure node that we can do to uh, add some additional uh, shader effects, we can drop down another measure node. And this time we want to analyze the surface, uh, again points, but this time we're going to do this thing called surface integral. So we can create a gradient along its bounding box, which is uh, really useful. So rather than the X component, we can grab the Y component, okay, and we can map uh, that to a color value, or an attribute value at least. And again, I'm just going to remap this to be black and white, just for my own sanity. And the color picker has completely bugged out on me, which is useful. Yeah, completely bugged out. So we'll try that again. We will put down another measure node. Put the display flag on it. Set it over to points. Set it over to uh, surface integral. Set the Y component and then just remap this to be our... Right, okay, I don't know why that has... Uh, why that is suddenly not working for me. Okay, so we'll do it that way. Um, yeah, so we can... you can see we've got this useful gradient from top to bottom, so we can bring that into our shader as well. Um, so again, we'll jump across to our shader We'll use uh, another user data flow, um, but this time the attribute that we created is called surface integral. Just watch the spelling on that. And again, just for clamping, I'm going to run that into a ramp parameter as well. And then what we're going to do is just exactly what we've done here. So we'll put down another mix node and we'll bring in our surface uh, an integral attribute. Okay. And then we'll put down another color correct. And we'll come out of our last mix. Okay. And we'll take that into the second input. And then we'll take the unmodified version into our first input. And then we'll throw this mix into our shader output. And we'll take a quick render, see what we've got. So render. Okay. So if we drop the gamma to like 0.1. Ah, okay, so you can see that Yeah, the values are inv inverted there. So what we could do is we could swap around the inputs here or we could take our ramp and just swap the values of the remapping around. So we could do something like that. And hit render again. All right, well, that didn't work. So let's try. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's getting late. So I'll swap those around just because what I'm looking for is the bottom to be darker and the top to be ever so slightly lighter. And it's it's not doing it. So why could that be? So let me see if I can debug this. So we've got our two going in there. That seems to be doing something. But our user data doesn't seem to be mixing in. I'm just going to stop this render and restart it because this is a bit strange. Because it was working for a second and then it wasn't. All right. 
let's take a look ah okay so yeah surface integral we'll bake that into the range uh, i'm back on the measure node now just uh, bake into the range i'm going to copy that just in case i've made a spelling mistake and then back to my material i'm going to paste that in there all right and then take that into our mix there we go yeah so now you can see we're getting a top to bottom gradient based on this color correction uh, and I've, I've really cranked up the values on this color correction to really make it obvious what's going on uh, so if i if i look at this uh surface integral attribute coming in it goes into the ramp we can clamp the values as harshly as we need so there you go you can really see the top to bottom uh, gradient that we've got going on there so we could just add a little bit of fade in and then tweak the um, maybe the hue and saturation to get like a, a bit of a color shift along the along the height of the I'm just going to play with these values until I get something that's I want there to be a nice contrast between the two. Um, so perhaps I'll just bring this up a little bit so we've got a little bit more. And then maybe shift it more towards a green hue. And then bring that saturation down a bit. Bring the contrast down a bit. But you get the idea you get the idea so we could maybe you know drop the con uh, we're starting to get a bit of um a bit of color variation on there and remember we're not looking at anything shaded at the moment we're just looking at the uh the uh the color map so let's just very quickly just take a quick render before we end this video of what it looks like through the standard surface shader so this all this information we've been working on here is just the base color information so i'm going to take that output there and just plug it into base color not base base color yeah and then take the shader output from our surface shader in and take a render so you can see the results are much more subtle when we take uh, the the output of that and i'll probably push that uh, that gradient ramp a little bit darker when you look at it in the uh, in the shaded view there okay so what we're going to do next is um, we'll do one more example and this time i want to do something a bit a bit non photorealistic something a bit more artistic uh, and that is just push some more dark into those recessed crevice areas so we're going to add in some shadows just to those areas just to give us that um, as we see in our reference just to give us that nice deep appearance uh, sort of faking it a little bit so we'll do that in the next video so um, thanks for watching and I'll see you then